Just waiting for ChatGPT to finish writing me this uh, story. Roadman nice. okay, good. style. Does so, it understand what a roadman is. Harry Potterhead and the Prisoner of Asboland. In this laugh out loud Harry Potter parody, we journey into an alternative universe where Harry Potterhead, an infamous roadman from the gritty streets of London, finds himself entangled in the magical world of Asboland. <laughs> Harry, more comfortable with spray cans than wands, is notorious for his graffiti art and notorious pranks. His life takes an unexpected turn when he's singled out as the chosen one to save Asboland. Um, <laughs> despite his love for zoots and unorthodox street tactics, Harry has to navigate the confusing world of magic, <laughs> outsmart mischievous magical creatures, and decipher cryptic prof prophecies, all while, <laughs> all while maintaining his street cred. <laughs> <laughs> Joined by his partners in crime, Ron Weezy. <laughs> Weezy. Ron Known Weezy. for his chronic asthma and booming laugh, and Hermione Grindhard, brilliant <laughs> mind with a knack for schemes. That's amazing. Wow. Oh, God. Hold on. What did I change to? Um, uh, yeah, Hermione, Hermione Grindhard, Grindhard, a savvy drug dealer with a genius mind. Harry must navigate this strange new world. Um, oh, my God. Hermione Hustleworth has made a name for herself dealing some of the most potent concoctions on the streets of London. Uh, <laughs> what else? Uh, I asked it to do something about... In this twisted magical universe, traditional wands are replaced with street weapons, enchanted knives, brass knuckles, and mystically <laughs> imbued baseball bats, each weapon having a unique magical aura that its user can channel. Harry and his crew have to learn this unique form of street magic to fend <laughs> off the unusual threats of Asboland has to offer. Incredible. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I want some dialogue. Can yeah, they, okay, they, yeah. Make it create a scene. <laughs> I've got a bit of dialogue. Uh, so there's a scene. The alleyway was dimly lit, a faint glow from a nearby street lamp casting long shadows on the pavement. Harry ripped out his enchanted shank, a sleek <laughs> blade that shimmered in the scarce light. Raw Harry fam, Ron Weezy <laughs> eyes eyeing Harry's weapon. He was nervously tapping his magical knuckle dusters against his leg. Ra. Yeah, raw ha raw Harry fam. Ra raw Harry fam. Uh, I can um, uh, he was nervously tapping his magical knuckle dusters against his leg, a concerned frown creasing his face. You reckon that shank's gonna do the job? Mandem always say it's all about the size, innit? <laughs> Harry chuckled, giving Ron a side glance. Bruv, it ain't about how big your tool is. It's about how you use it. You got me. His <laughs> grin widens as he saw Ron's frown deepen. Trust Wheezy. We got this, fam. <laughs> Amazing. God, it's just yeah. fucking nailing it. Yeah. It's, it's Harry Potter meets... Um, what's that fucking really popular British drama about uh, dealing drugs in... Like, top Boy. Top Boy. Yeah, it's Top B Boy meets Harry Potter, I think, is my perfect show. Um... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So yeah, maybe. I don't know what else to do about it. Just let ChatGPT do it, I suppose. Oh, look oh, at this! Yeah. This AI came up with this really funny idea. There you go. I have pitched it to a big TV production. <laughs> Who is the golden snitch? <laughs> the fuck snitched? <laughs> Sorry. In the gloom of a graffiti-covered underpass, Harry Pothead and Ron Weezy are engaged in a heated whispering match. The tension between them was thick as the smog above London. Ron, we ain't got no choice, bruv. Harry's voice echoed through the underpass, his hand gripping the enchanted shank <laughs> tightly. <laughs> Neville Longface fam, he's got the golden snitch. He's been chatting with the 5 about our operations. <laughs> Ron's face was a stormy mix of disbelief and apprehension. He screamed at Harry, his breathing heavy. Harry... Neville's been with us since day, since a day, fam. You sure about this? Can't we just talk to him? Tell him to keep his trap shut. Harry sighed, <laughs> running his fingers through his hair. We tried that, didn't we? Man, don't listen. He'd be putting us all in danger, Wheezy. Harry paused, locking eyes with Ron. I don't like it neither, bruv, but it's him or us. Ron's <laughs> eyes died between Harry and his magical brass knuckles, the weight of the decision pressing heavily upon him. After a long moment, he let out a resigned sigh, his voice barely audible. All right, if it's got to be done, it's got to be done. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. <laughs> Sheesh, <laughs> Wheezy, your sister's got a tight thunder. Thunder. This is it's just f yeah right. Let's 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 float around in a spaceship. Uh, what would be so yeah? Piss, people are man. saying in chat about how they have owls and pigeons and stuff. Is it everyone has pigeons, and not owls? Street yeah, pigeons. maybe street pigeons. One or like... got a rat. <laughs> But it's just a rat. 
It's just a rat from the streets of London. Yeah. Uh... Got a, I got a cider can full of wasps. <laughs> got I an half What the fuck you'd use? Yeah, like yeah, bully dogs. <laughs> They're all just really large, of, illegal, uh, illegal breeds, of, breeds dogs. of dogs. Yeah, like yeah, pit bulls off their leads. What would be Quidditch? How would, would you replace Quidditch? Quidditch? Yeah. In would the depths you? of a grimy underground car park, Harry Pothead and Ron Weasley stood, tension palpable in the air. The, mag the pair had their enchanted pit bulls, fluffy and fang, straining at their magical chains. Energy crackling around them was an illegal wizard dogfight, a pit of chaos in the underbelly of Asboland. Fluffy's ready, fam, Harry murmured, staring at the other wizards and their fierce and magical dogs in the makeshift ring, his hand gripping Fluffy's chain tightly. The enchanted pit bull was crackling with raw magical energy, her eyes glowing in an intense blue. Ron, standing next to them, gave Fang a reassuring pat. The dog was snarling, his fur standing on end, sparks jumping from his paws to the damp concrete. Fang ain't gonna back down neither, bruv, he said, matching Harry's determined gaze. <laughs> Listen, Wheezy. Harry's voice was low, his gaze never leaving the ring. We gotta play it smart, yeah? Wait for the right moment. Let Fluffy and Fang pick their fights. We can't afford to lose. Not tonight. As the first dogs were let loose in the ring, Harry felt a rush of adrenaline. He tightened his grip on Fluffy's chain, leaning down to whisper in her ear. Remember what I taught you, girl. Play it smart. Hit him where it hurts. Fluffy responded with a low growl, her eyes locked and her dogs in the ring. It was game on. The underbelly of Asbo Land was about to witness a dogfight like no other, where magical dogs and roadman wizards came head to head, each vying for supremacy in the darkened corners of their world. Fucking yeah. A. Fucking A. All right, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> the Death Eaters are just the police. Kiss of Death is just getting maced. <laughs> <laughs> Eat some chocolate, fam. It'll help your eyes. It's not helping my eyes. <laughs> Fucking sore, fam. Eat more chocolate. <laughs> Just got fucking parvered, fam. <laughs> <laughs>